go. All right, so it's time for a very special episode of Alvin's Bites. Uh, I'm introducing you today to another great business owner. With me today is um, Albert from New Jersey in the States. Um, how are you doing, Albert? Pretty good. How's it going, Albert? Yeah, good. Thank you. Um, buddy, in 20 seconds or less, uh, approximately, tell the folks what business you're in and what problems do you help your customers solve? <laughs> it's a little... The, the problems one is a little trickier, but we uh, we operate a, a series of uh, ice cream uh, stores of concepts uh, that we own called Surreal Creamery. Uh-huh. Uh, and uh, what help? What problems do we help solve? Um, I, we offer uh, a unique uh, blend of uh, products, uh-huh. uh, products that are unique to us. Uh, and uh, and true to our name, Surreal, we deliver on the unexpected. Fantastic. Awesome. Awesome. That's four. And you mentioned you had four shops, yeah? We have five. Uh, oh. We have three opening up and then uh, we have two or three franchisees that are going to be opening up in the next month or so. Fantastic. So it's going to be close to about 10 to 12 in the next two to three months. Awesome. Awesome. What? 10 to 12 stores? Is that what I heard? Correct. Nice. Eight, eight be owned by uh, us and then yeah. we're going to have about anywhere from two to three, hopefully four. Uh, depending on how things shape shape up, um, you know, because of the pandemic, yes, it's been a little to, to procure uh, equipment and uh, and uh, supply. Yeah, I bet, I bet. So you're the um, in the ice cream business. Tell us one KPI that you track that has been really great for your business lately. So we use uh, really a couple of digital indicators. The first one, Google Maps and Google analytics uh Mm -hmm. so bills rise obviously with more website traffic uh as people consider a problem you know correspondingly our um correspondingly the number of customers that we have also increases uh google maps because you know obviously the next thing that they do is look for us in google maps so that shows higher intent and it's the same thing uh we can correlate that with the number of customers that we ultimately have yeah, absolutely. I think that's one one thing that a lot of retailers miss out. They they miss out on that whole Google Maps piece. That's so awesome. Um, let's talk cash flow. What is one tip that um, you know? What do you think? What is one tip that business owners should implement in the next week to improve their cash flow? I don't know. The next week. <laughs> <laughs> that's a loaded question. Next month. Next few months. My background advertising. So you know, uh-huh. we look. Or, or we utilize cheap media, not meaning like, you know, obviously cheap media, but when, inv- when inventory, you know, dips down and uh, media becomes cheaper, we use it to increase customer acquisition, sales, okay. revenue, and ultimate profit, which improves our cash flow. So, I mean, it is contingent upon ideas, but we can essentially drive customers to our storefront uh, dependent on, you know, how much media costs. Unreal, unreal. So you mentioned the word profit there. Um, what's what's a change that you've made into your business um, recently that's impacted your profitability? So in the past week or so, we uh-huh. put in campaign type. We were primarily throwing out awareness campaigns, reach and uh, brand awareness, and uh-huh. uh, move further down the funnel into store traffic. And uh, we saw an eighteen percent lift in uh, in week to week sales. Uh, I mean, you know, this business is very weather driven, uh, yeah. but the close log that we saw was, you know, um, a huge lift in, uh, in, in store traffic, in store traffic uh, because of new campaign type. Um, but, you know, obviously there's a lot of stuff that goes behind that as well, right? Like we have the right audience. Uh, we have custom mm-hmm. audiences built. Um, so I'm not saying that, you know, if somebody just did a new t- campaign type, you'd realize those benefits, right? It, it, there's a strategy in place that, that you know, needs to realize those gains yeah love it love it that's amazing uh okay that's awesome that's uh that's the end of this quick info bite lots of good stuff there um so albert how do people find out more about your business earn media paid media social media own yeah. media for all the typical channels um i mean you know it's a mixture of social paid and earned for the most part and, and owned, right? Like our website, paid media, we're out on Facebook, Instagram, slash Instagram. Awesome. Uh, so on so forth, social media, um, fa- again, Facebook, Instagram, uh, earned media, you know, word of mouth um, based off of, you know, or earned media even mentions, um, you know, that's how people find out about us. Yeah, 
That's fantastic. Awesome. Thanks, Albert. I really, really appreciate you. Thanks for taking out of the, um, taking out some time out of your busy schedule. And um, yeah, I really appreciate your lights. Thanks, man. You got it. Thank you, Albert.